Believe it or not, I haven't had to use a hairdryer or a round brush to achieve this bouncy looking hairstyle. Stay tuned to see how. Prep your hair, so shampoo, condition and towel dry. I put a small amount of keratin smoothing balm by Tresemme. Then sectioned off my hair, put in these spongy sleeping rollers with some Kirby grips just to hold it in place while I sleep. It's very easy, I've just roughly sectioned it off and put the rollers in. This morning I've woken up, I'm taking out the rollers to see whether the hair has taken Yeah, so the curl has formed nicely. As you can see, the hair has dried overnight too. I'm quite happy with the way the curls are falling. So just simply pull each one out at a time and see how the curls fall. I can see that it has taken quite well. Um, my sleep was comfortable actually. I did sleep well. They're very spongy, um, you don't need as many pillows at night because obviously you're a bit higher up with all those rollers in there. But they are soft so you can have a good night's sleep. As you can see as I'm pulling them out, the curls are falling, well doing their own thing really. So I will have to dress them out quite well. So now I have lots of volume in my hair after taking out these sleeping rollers. was very easy. You can style your hair how you like. You can spend a lot of time making it look pretty or as you can see I'm just going to quickly show you. I'm going to put a few Kirby grips in place which will hold it securely and it's just two second job there before you go to work. It's just ideal. Go to sleep with some rollers, wake up, take them out, two seconds, pin up your hair and you're done. Very easy, no long blow dry involved at all. Now I'll show you what I do with it when I like to wear it down. Stay tuned. My hair looks a little bit wild at the moment. I need to tame the mane with these GHD irons. and Catwalk TG heat defensive spray and it also adds a lot of shine as well. Simply section off your hair and pin it up with one of those crocodile clips or a sectioning clip. Spray on your heat defense spray, protect your hair from that high heat. As you can see, I'm literally just doing the roots of my hair. I don't want to ruin the nice curl on the ends. I just want to tame the root area because it's still got a lot of flyaway hair as my hair is very thick. Ah, uh, wild, big hair. I need to tame that mane. Keep sectioning off the hair. Spray on your heat defense spray. A little bit too much there. Keeping it nice at the roots. Just smooth away those little flyaway hairs that looked quite frizzy. And just to get a nicer shape as well. Obviously I've got quite a lot of hair, so you don't want it to look too wild, you want to tame it just a bit more. So I'm still working my way up to the top, working through the sections.
Never forget to spray your spray, your heat defense spray. It's very important that you protect your hair from that high heat. As you can see, those flyaway bits there, the curl just does not look right. Let's smooth that down. Much better. Just work your way through until you're happy with each section. I've left the end still very curly just because throughout the, the day your hair may drop slightly so it's best to keep it as tight as you can to begin with because it will drop a bit. Geez, I've got a lot of hair. It just never ends. Okay, so now I'm down to the last section. I'm just going to tame that down with my hands probably won't be putting the straight lines through that section I just like it to look a bit more bouncy at the front a bit more of a flick going on but I hate these little flyaway bits at the front and at the top they do need to be tamed so I'm gonna need to finish it off with some coconut oil love this stuff it's so versatile you can literally use it for almost everything your hair your skin you can eat and cook with this. I love this stuff. Just put a tiny amount on your hands, rub it through to the mids and the ends of your hair first before going near the root area. You don't want to slap a load on the top to make it too heavy. So just tame do down those little frizzy bits at the top of your hair, the little flyaways that just annoy you. Get some more if you need to. So use little and often rather than a big amount and just keep working it through until you're happy. Oh, yeah, I like a bit on my dry elbows there. Um, yeah, so just keep going through until you're happy, until it's smooth. As you can see, it's got a lot of shine going on there, even though my hair has a lot of color through it. And I just love it, it's lovely and bouncy. I didn't have to have an arm workout with a big hair drying round brush. I just went to sleep with rollers, got up, took them out and just run the straightening lines through the top. I love it. Hope you liked it.